king glad with their wickedness. They make a king glad with their wickedness. And princes with their lies. I find it very interesting. And I always repeat, first of all, I'm not a citizen of the... Well, I don't repeat that, but I'm not a citizen of the United States. And I am not into politics at all. But it is part of this world. And it is part of even what we see in scriptures that will happen so um my point is that when it comes to politics i hate it just like i hate businesses or doing business because of the fact that what i just said earlier people tend to lie most of the time when doing business and i really don't like that and on the other hand all politicians lie also to get everybody to like them and vote for them which is kind of the same thing that ends up happening in churches when people want, well, pastors want to fill up their churches, their seats, and they start speaking things like politicians just to get people. So, um, that is hypocrisy. That is the leaven of the Pharisees that Yahushua told us to be aware of and take care not to have it in us. So, in this verse that it says now their own deeds have surrounded them that they make a king glad with their wickedness i find very interesting that um after saying everything that i just said um seeing what has happened in the united states with the elections it is very interesting how this verse applies they make a king glad with their wickedness just like they are making a precedent and are making him very glad through lying and fraud which they have committed and there is a lot of proof of it yet the media is saying the contrary so there is a lot of proof you just have to go and look for it and I urge you to do so if you think that the media is telling you the truth because all most 95% of uh, news media are saying that <clears throat> that there is no proof of fraud but Anyways, see how it says, they make a king glad with their wickedness and princes with their lies. They use, like, well, there are proof of many dead people who voted, meaning they use their names to place votes on their name. Um, like, in the, in people of 120 years, Biden won, like, 100%. All votes were for him. It's amazing. <laughs> um... Also, they found that the software that they were using in most computers in many of the states for casting votes, a software called Dominion, which with that name, how can they not know? And how can they use that name so blatantly? I mean, it's amazing. It's called Dominion. And what the program has done is that when they place votes for Trump, the program which switched him for Biden. Biden has become the president who has gotten more votes in the history of the United States, meaning, well, in comparison and all of those things, which is amazing because, well, it's impossible for many reasons for that to happen. Yet, since there were so many votes for Trump and they had to make Biden get more votes, then that record had to happen. Um, and... They also, well, yeah, the program Dominion, which switches votes, also the fraud with mailing votes, and many other details that they have found with that. And there is one state who actually did everything um, the old way, counting by hand the votes. And interestingly enough, in that place, the great majority of votes were for Trump and huge difference and that is the one that didn't use the software so it's very strange and actually this that I just said regarding the software was also shown in the Simpsons like just like I just said it like a joke of course but it happened and all of those people that for four years were saying impeach Trump and and put him through the court and then after the court decided that there was nothing uh, from with Russia or the other things that they were blaming him for, and they were saying we need to 
investigate we need to investigate now that there is all of this fraud they're saying there's nothing to investigate you shouldn't investigate there's no fraud nothing no ever in the presidency or in the elections can there be any fraud after four years of saying that there was fraud now they're saying that it's virtually impossible for fraud to happen in the elections so there you see the hypocrisy the leaven of the pharisees they make a king glad with their wickedness and princes with their lies